Advances in technology are usually celebrated. They bring newfound conveniences or revolutionary breakthroughs. But what if a scientific achievement posed a threat to your way of life or your livelihood? According to some estimates, nearly half of American jobs could be taken over by computers in the next two decades. Kara Miller is host of WGBH Radio's Innovation Hub, here with more on the changes coming to the workforce. Welcome back. Well, Thanks. Kara, I mean, we've been adjusting this for a while. We've had ATMs taking exactly. over tellers. We've got self-checkout in grocery stores and pharmacies and that kind of stuff. So what more onerous things are on the horizon? Well, so, no, you're exactly right. I mean, if you had gone back 100 years ago, let's say, to a car factory and looked at what Henry Ford was doing, mm -hmm. it would have been chock full of people. Look at a car factory now. There are almost no people in it. It is almost completely automated. You've got these robotic arms, wow. and they put together cars, and there are very few people that are, that are sort of overseeing it. So that's one thing that's that's going on. In fact, if you've ever ordered anything from Amazon, which mm -hmm. I suspect you have, mm -hmm. right? A few things. A few things, things. <laughs> right, exactly. That, that, that box that arrives yeah. on your doorstep very often arrives with the help of a robot. So one thing that Amazon did a couple of years ago is they bought a local company, Kiva Systems, which roboticizes warehouse. Houses, so that when you say, you know, I want that red shirt, mm -hmm. it goes down, to, it knows exactly where it is, goes down the right aisle, and it ends up oh, on your doorstep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But very few, right? Very yeah. few. So that's that's one of the things that's that's happening, certainly with roboticizing jobs. Yeah. So what's on uh, the cutting edge of technology now? So, I mean, a few things are happening. A lot of people have heard about the Google self-driving car, which mm -hmm. has driven hundreds of thousands of miles all by itself. Um, and we see little bits of self-driving getting into cars, which you're seeing now is Audi, which has actually done a sort of one-up of a car that parks itself. This car, you actually drop it off at the entrance to your parking garage. It finds the space itself, and then when you're ready to go, you indicate that through an app on your phone, and it picks you up at the entrance to the garage. So we're seeing these That's little... Yeah, exactly. I have an Audi, and my, I have half an inch on either space of my spot. <laughs> See, and it would probably be very good at that. Um, and, and we're seeing these little bits of self-driving seep into cars. Mm -hmm. Another thing we're seeing, just this is totally different, but on the defense side, the Defense Department has commissioned a company called Boston Dynamics. And it's interesting, a lot of these really good robotics companies are local. And they've created that, which you see. Wow. And it can carry hundreds of pounds of cargo, whereas a person... Right, you know, a person in the army who's trying to carry something themselves over these sort of treacherous conditions is going to have a lot of trouble. It's so weird that they make it so lifelike. That looks like a yeah, real yeah. Animal. And in a way, they're learning from nature, right? Yeah. That nature's had millions of years to figure out how do you evolve animals to to deal with this kind of terrain. And so Boston Dynamics just borrows from nature. But again, it reduces the number of people that you need mm -hmm. to go on any sort of mission. So I mean, there must be winners and losers because some of these. Let me look at that machinery in that Kia. Factory. Factory. I mean, it takes human beings to fix yeah, this yeah. stuff. Yeah, There certainly are. So I would say the winners are the people who can create things that everybody wants. So like the guys who created Instagram, 13 employees, it was bought out by Facebook for a billion dollars. Mm. So here you create something, everybody wants it, and you only have to split the money 13 ways. So <laughs> right it, at yeah, the top, it creates yeah. a lot of uh, income. At the bottom, certainly there are problems, but, but let's go back to that car factory mm. footage. And, and what you see is, you know, these robots have to be created by somebody. Mm. They have to be serviced yeah. by somebody. So it is certainly true that in some ways the jobs have moved up the education ladder, but there are jobs that are created. And, and if you went back 100 years to an America that was mostly agricultural and said, mm. there are going to be things like software engineers and web designers and commercial pilots, they, they couldn't imagine, mm. they couldn't fathom a world like that. So in a, technology takes away jobs, but it also creates jobs. Yeah, really, really interesting. All right, Karen Miller, thanks as thanks. always.